Under the lights in Houston, the galaxy at the White House, and a first look at the U.S. roster next on The Daily. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Jason Skini. I'm Nick Fershaw. We're looking back at uh, a big game from Tuesday night, the Houston Dynamo at home against the Portland Timbers out of BBVA Compass Stadium. The first night game, Jay, for the uh, Houston Dynamo in their new digs, but no win for the Dynamo, a scoreless draw in this one. Yeah, I think the fans are hoping that future night games bring some more goals, yeah. but uh, you don't get a 0-0 tie without some great defensive performances. And for Houston, I thought Jeff Cameron and Jermaine Taylor both played very well. Taylor had a couple big blocks for the Dynamo. And then on the other side, Troy Perkins was the man of the match to me. And I think pretty much everyone in the postgame comments called him out as, as a great player. I thought Diego Chara also played well. Yeah, a stalemate in this one for the Portland Timbers and the Houston Dynamo. Dynamo looked a little fatigued, I have to say, after that weekend uh, opener against D.C. United. A 0-0 draw out there in the first night game at BVA Compass Stadium. Next up, a look at the games on Wednesday night. First on the MLS docket, DC United at home against the Colorado Rapids, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live. Should be a good East-West matchup. The Rapids head out to RFK Stadium. Some good news for DC United. They had a scare with one of their stars. Yeah, Perry Kitchen against Houston on Saturday. It looked like something bad happened to his knee when he landed, but it turns out the MRIs are negative. He was back on the practice field yesterday. Ben Olsen probably can get uh, some minutes out of him tonight. Then on the Colorado side, they're another team that's had some injuries, been banged up a little bit. They have Harrison Hanal, a new signing, out mm -hmm. there in D.C. with them. Could be his debut tonight. Uh, yeah, a good one. Again, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. You can catch it on MLS Live. D.C. United at home against the Colorado Rapids. And don't forget, the Amway Canadian Championship resumes tonight. The first leg of the finals, Vancouver Whitecaps at home against Toronto FC, 10 p.m. on Sportsnet up in Canada. Well, a memorable moment on Tuesday for the LA Galaxy, the reigning MLS Cup champions in the nation's capital to meet with President Barack Obama and the First Lady. Such a big moment, actually, Jason. David Beckham saying it's one of the biggest moments of his career. Yeah, I can't imagine that there's much less left that he hasn't done. So uh, interesting to see that. Also interesting to see Obama calling the LA Galaxy the Miami Heat of MLS. Um, interesting because the LA Galaxy won the championship, whereas the Miami Heat fell short. Well, you can find complete coverage of the LA Galaxy's trip to the White House on LAGalaxy.com. And one of those guys who went to the White House, Landon Donovan, likely to be part of all those games later this month and early next month for the U.S. national team. 16 players announced on Tuesday for Jurgen Klinsmann's team. A couple MLSers, uh, some expected faces, but certainly some controversy as well. Yeah, I think here the, the MLSers that were announced, Real Salt Lakes, Kyle Beckerman and Nick Romando, they don't have a game this weekend. Mm -hmm. He's really waiting for the MLS teams to go through the weekend before the MLS players are added to this roster. Interestingly enough, Timmy Chandler not on the roster, and I think that's what a lot of fans are talking about right now. Timmy Chandler uh, evidently taking a break from the U.S. national team. That's what we're hearing. One of the other names that is a big one on this one, we've talked about this a lot, Jose Francisco Torres, a lot of people are expecting him to come back to the national team. He's going to get his chance here. We're also waiting to see if Hercules Gomez is going to get his chance. Obviously, Herc involved in the Mexican championship over the next week or so. That camp convenes May 25th. Well, the Castro Index weekly rankings for week 10 are out. And uh, a lot of defensive guys in the top five, Jason, but not number one. Leonard Pahoy from the Philadelphia Union, a nice week for him. Yeah, he scored two goals. He was very active in the game, had plenty of chances for some saves. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get the third goal for the hat trick. Uh, you look at the rest of the list, though. A couple young goalkeepers, Ryan Mara appearing in, on there, Brian Meredith for the Seattle Sounders. And then Steven Lenhart and Andrew Haino round out the, uh, the top five there. So there's your weekly rankings. Rankings and the overall standings, though, not a big surprise. Thierry Henry, the guy hasn't played in a few weeks, but he's still atop the overall rankings for the Castro Index. Yeah, the way the index works is eventually he won't have enough minutes and uh, he'll start dropping down if he doesn't play games soon. But all forwards on the, on the overall list right now, Henri, Wondolowski, Kamara, Sayer Sen, who's having a great season for the New England Revolution, and Dominic Aduro doing it again this year for Chicago. Well, that does it for us, but a couple more things we want to mention before we go. It is still Supporters Week at MLSsoccer.com. You can catch a ton of articles and videos about all the great fans in MLS and one of my favorite features so far this season. My favorite player is and we're letting a lot of players and a lot of fans comment on that one yeah it's cool uh, you know players coaches our staff we're finding out who everyone looked up to who everyone wanted to see yesterday we saw Taylor Twelman as one of those so be sure to check those videos out comment and let us know who your favorite players are uh, one other thing that I should mention is that there's going to be a new Pick'em game starting later today you can get that on the site I know fans have been clamoring for a game where they can pick the results of MLS action well it begins today
Well, you can find that and all the coverage of the games on Wednesday night in the MLS and the Amway Canadian Championship on MLSsoccer.com.